fighting modern day stalking harassing behavior is changing with the times. Social media has changed the game and blurred the lines between free speech and a crime. Now Michigan's law does define cyberbullying as a crime, but the question is what defines cyberbullying? And can social media posts be used as evidence to secure a personal protection order against a stalker? 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell discovered the consequences of confusion. We all have the constitutional right to free speech, but we don't have the right to harass someone or cyber bully. So where is the line between our civil rights and facing a PPO or even charges? Many people are finding out the hard way. I love my kids. I, if they don't see this soon. I hope they see it one day. Tom Markai lost custody of his children in a Macomb County case. He vented in a way that you might describe as passionate or obsessive, depending on your perspective. He blamed his ex's attorney for comments in court that he felt weren't true. A judge issued a restraining order telling him to leave her alone and charged him with stalking after seeing evidence of unwanted contact, a protest outside her office, and social media posts. Tom says he felt shocked. He thought he had freedom of speech. That platform gives both the sender and the receiver an option to block somebody. Nobody's blocked me and said, hey, don't contact me on the Internet. He now is scheduled to face trial next month. His attorney, James Galen, will argue he is being punished in violation of his rights. For exercising constitutionally protected speech. To talk about not any specific case, but how we can all protect ourselves from such legal trouble, I sat down with the presiding judge of the family division at Wayne County Circuit Court, Melissa Cox, and she had a lot of advice. How do they know where the line is between sharing their free speech, even if someone doesn't like it, and stalking or harassing. It's very hard to determine um, when that crosses the line of um, somebody's constitutional right to free speech and um, into the avenue of um, really what we consider cyber stalking. Judge Melissa Cox says in 2018, cyberbullying became illegal in Michigan. Now posting in a manner that involves a continued pattern of harassing or intimidating behavior that injures another person can be a crime. Harassment really is looked at as it relates to the victim and how it makes the victim feel. Take a look at this. In 2006, as Facebook just started and before Twitter, there were 576,000 restraining orders registered in the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. In 2015, there were more than 1.6 million. It's not clear whether this increase is because of social media or because of technology improvements in how communities communicate nationally. In Wayne County, we have not seen such a spike. Judge Cox says her advice is, if you are in an emotional state, be careful before you post. Get a therapist, find a friend, but under no circumstances, release that information um, to social media or to really the whole world. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.